Good morning. I'm Mike Mazzalongo for BibleTalk.tv, and this is your Monday Morning Devotional. Several years ago, a book entitled All the Rules was published, and the authors claimed that it could help a woman find a man to marry. Now, the rules they listed were various approaches to dating that included manipulation and sexual politics. The book described dating as a game and marriage as a trophy for playing this game according to the rules, hence the name of the book. Of course, these people could have saved themselves a lot of trouble if they would have checked out the old rules about finding a mate contained in the book of Exodus and the book of Leviticus. Here are a few samples. Rule number one, be honest. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor, Exodus chapter 20, verse 16. Actually, it says not to lie about another, but the principle is there. Honesty and sincerity are the basics upon which a solid relationship can begin and grow. This includes being yourself and refusing to play games in order to gain control. Rule number two, be pure. You shall not commit adultery, Exodus chapter 20, verse 14. Sexual purity is the best guarantee against physical, emotional, and spiritual harm. Mom and dad were right. If they don't respect you before marriage, they won't after. Rule number three, be holy. Speak to all the congregation of the sons of Israel and say to them, You shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 2. If we're dedicated to God and search for a like partner, we will preserve our faith and increase our chances for a successful marriage. There are many new rules being invented concerning relationships these days. However, the old rules still produce the things we truly desire, happy, lasting marriages and peaceful homes. Well, that's it for today. I look forward to seeing you next Monday, Lord willing. Discussion questions. Number one, what quality in a man or woman is most important to you? Why? Question number two, what rules would you add to the ones already mentioned in this devotional? Question number three, what advice would you give someone who is contemplating a serious relationship with an unbeliever?